Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritza here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, October 12th, 2020. Free pick in a moment. Hey, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. All right, quick recap, then we're going to jump into our Monday Night Football opinion. Uh, we went three and three with NBA, NASCAR, Major League Baseball, and NFL on Sunday. Three and three overall, but I went one and two in the NFL. Real bummer and disappointment after going three and one on last Sunday and jumping into the meat of October uh, where we kick it into gear most years. Uh, but one and two, it was nice to finish up strong with the Vikings covering the spread against Seattle in Sunday Night Football, uh, but I was wrong on the two earlier plays. There's just no two ways about it. Uh, as far as the NBA, nice to close the season with a six-star win on the Lakers. We had a five-star win in game five with the Heat, six-star last night with the Lakers as they wrapped up the title. Uh, won a six star in NASCAR with Boyer over Kyle Busch. Uh, Boyer was laying, depending on when you got it, anywhere from a buck 15 to a dollar 20. And, uh, and then in baseball, I had the Astros, and unfortunately, they couldn't take care of a lot of opportunities during the game. Uh, choked in the clutch, if you will, at the plate. Give credit to the Tampa Bay pitchers. They won the low scoring game. So three and three in those spa, uh, sports overall. Uh, real quick note I've jumped into, as I do every Sunday, early evening, late evening, we jump into our lines. We've got our lines done a week in advance. We jump into the opening lines. And we've got a potential for seven or eight college football plays for this upcoming week. Uh, but I want to say this. We're going to wait. It's not like years past when I start jumping in and making bets on Sunday night for the next week. We can't do that. COVID virus obviously has hamstrung things, and we got to wait a few days, make sure the teams are going to field the players that we want when we handicap on Sundays for the next week's card. So we'll let you know a little bit more about our card as we get closer to Thursday. Got a feeling it won't be seven or eight plays in college, probably knock a couple of those off due to health issues or injuries, and we'll let you know. And I'm sorry, I just bumped my mic in case that disrupted you listening to this. But let's jump into Monday Night Football, and we are going to give an opinion here on the New Orleans Saints minus seven over the Chargers. Uh, I, you know, Chargers just so banged up on that offensive line. It's already a team uh, that ranks really low in offensive DVOA when it comes to rushing the football. And then you're taking out one of the best backs in the NFL in Austin Eckler, who got injured last week. Guy who's averaging about five yards per pop. His backups are Joshua Kelly and Justin Jackson. These two have run the ball an awful lot five dozen times this year. They're averaging a combined three yards per carry. They're not going to be, in all likelihood, as good at, at catching the ball out of the backfield. So Justin Herbert, rookie quarterback, who looks like the real deal, no longer has that uh, safety valve dump off to Austin Eckler. And also, by the way, I wanted to point this out. As far as the charges are concerned, you know, they've been kind of living on big plays. They haven't been great when you look at the ratings. Second half of the league when it comes to some of the shorter and intermediate passing game situations. So... I don't think they're going to be able to get the job done here, even though New Orleans has given up some points and some passing yards at times in the defensive backfield. They're great DVOA-wise are the Saints against the run. So I think they make uh, the Chargers turn them into a one-dimensional team like the edge here for the uh, defense for New Orleans. They're not going to have Michael Thomas, a wide receiver. He's out there saying disciplinary reasons. Uh, listen, I'm not going to get too involved in that. There are some rumors that there's some dissension in the clubhouse. Unless it's obvious, unless we get word from the clubhouse, we're not going to jump into that. We're just going to handicap the game with the players we know who are going to play. A lot of guys out for the Chargers, some bumps and bruises for New Orleans, uh, the suspension to Michael Thomas for this game. They're still putting up a bunch of points playing most of the season without Michael Thomas. We're going to back up here, minus the points over the Chargers, our opinion, our free pick for Monday Night Football. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And if you want to jump on board my Major League Baseball play for Monday, I do have a five star. Those plays are seven and two the last nine. Five stars and higher in baseball, and we're up about $3,300 for $100 per unit betters. It's my lone play on Monday in LCS Game 1. Check it out if you wish. Let's put money in the win column right back here early Tuesday morning.